So here on this particular video where we where I have explained how to combine multiple Excel files together using Python here one of my viewer has commented he want to know I mean from his comment what I understood that he has a couple of Excel files stored in a folder and he want to combine them all together but not on the same sheet what does he want is he want to have all those Excel files on separate sheet but in one Excel file so that's what I understood from this comment. Thanks Arun. I'll, I'm just going to give a thumbs up to your comment and a heart from the side. All right. And uh, just after making this video and uploading it, I'll put a link of this video into the comment section. Uh, I mean, I will just reply with that. Okay. So please stay with me though. It's a very simple. Uh, th this is going to be a simplest exercise, but because he has asked me, so I'm just going to make a video on this particular thing. Okay. Just stay with me. All right, so if you see over here in this testing folder, I have all these Excel files separately. And here I have another folder which is called combined. Here I will be creating one Excel file called multiple sheets, right? And in that I'm going to store all these Excel files on separate sheet. So let's jump to the Jupyter notebook and start creating this, okay? So like for this particular thing, we require all these libraries, pandas, numpy is not really required, but as a practice, I usually import that. Okay. And here I am importing the OS library. Okay. And this is the location where I have to store the output. And this is the location from where I want to read the output. Okay. So first thing which we're going to do is just create the list of all the Excel files stored in this particular thing okay so i'm just going to say file list equals to os dot list dir this is the function from os library you can use and in that all that you need to do is just provide this particular location over here okay now one thing which you need to do is just change this particular backward slash to the sorry forward slash to the backward slash all right and i will just do it quickly please bear with me okay i could have done i should have to do this okay no that's not required actually backwards last needs to be changed to the forward slash if you are working in the windows okay that's my bad all right so in testing whatever excel files you have i want to store that uh, i want to get a list of all those excel files okay so just here here now here we got the list of all the excel files stored in this particular folder now next thing which we're going to do is just create a blank excel file in this combined location how can you do that using excel writer so i'll just give an i'll just create an object called excel writer and then in that i'm going to use pd.excel writer and in that i gotta give the location where i want to create this blank excel file this will create a blank excel file though if you want to go and check it uh, before running this it won't be available over there but in the memory it creates the blank excel file okay multiple sheets multiple sheets dot xls x sorry all right now i'm just going to put this into double quotation and then here i just need to give engine equals to xls x writer all right so this is the engine you need to specify over here now we have two things created over here all right now next thing which we're going to do is just loop through this list for each of the excel file and store that and put that into this particular excel file all right how we can do that for that simply you're going to use for file in file list okay so in we need to first import each of those excel files from this particular location so how are we gonna do that i'm going to create a data frame blank um sorry it's a data frame i'm going to create so pd dot read excel i would say read excel and in that the location we have where we have the excel file is this in testing folder we have those excel files okay and so because this is just a location we also need to give the file name right so how are we gonna do that for that you're gonna do is what are you gonna do is plus i'm just going to concatenate this particular file name so what will happen is this is the list and when you look through this it will start picking each of these files one by one so when you say file then 
each item from this list will be repeated over here okay and then so that's how the files will be read into the particular data frame and now after that you need to export that to excel let's see if all right and in that you're gonna instead of putting the location what you're gonna do is you can just use the object right because in this object you have already created a blank excel file all right and then you need to provide the sheet name all right so sheet name equals to because all sheet name you want to give according to the file name whatever file names are available over here you want to name you want to give the sheet name as same all right so that's where i'm just putting file so each of the time it iterates through each of the uh, file name in this file list it will give the each of the file name over here okay and index i gonna say index equals to false because i personally don't like it if you want you can just keep that true all right so i don't like it now once this is completed what i gonna do is i gonna just save this object okay now let's run this oh there is an error let's look at the error here it says no such file D -d 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 testing okay i got it so what you're gonna do is here over here you're just gonna put this slash and now you just execute this okay again over here sorry my bad now this is executed now let's go to the combined sheet and like you can see over here multiple sheet file has been created now let's have a look in this particular thing if we have all those sheets created separately right right like you can see over here right so these were the excel files we had separately available in this testing folder all right here if you see and all of them are now stored in this particular excel file if you can see over here now there is one problem we can see over here each of the sheet name has dot xlsx just in case if you don't want to see it like this i'll just show you another example okay so for example let me just comment this for now okay and here if you see file list and if you see here you have xlsx that's the reason you are getting that particular thing so let's just fix that how can you fix that so for that you're going to create another object called files equals to and in that you're going to say file dot split and we want to split it on dot so that xlsx will go away we want to keep the first element and just let's just pick the zeroth element for first for file in files okay let's try to print files there is something wrong just give me a second files is not defined okay so here we just need to give this particular thing okay and now you if you see you don't have the dot xlsx now the what the problem is gonna happen over here because when you read this particular thing here it will require dot xlsx because if you run this loop now it will give you an error oh it just worked man let's see if this just worked let's see if that has it all right okay oh it didn't work right so let me just correct this over here first let's just delete this particular multiple sheet okay and now let's get back to the Jupyter notebook so that's going to give you uh, that that might give you the error so to be on safer side what we're going to do is just remove this particular thing from here and all that you need to do is just concatenate dot xlsx xlsx now here comes the another problem <laughs> let's see what happens no such file directory price list two okay let me just see it just give me a second i'll just fix this for you all right so the, why this problem is happening over here it's saying price list it is xlsx dot xlsx it is uh giving double xlsx right why it's that happening because we are using this particular list so instead of that we need to use this new list files okay now you run this and if you go back to the combined particular combined particular file and if you just open that if you just open that now you have the 
you have each of the excel files on a separate sheet so here on i just hope that you understood this particular thing and uh, now i'm done with the, uh, done with recording this video so as soon as i upload this video i'll provide the link into the comment section in uh, i'll just reply to your comment okay i just hope that you liked it you understood it just in case if you have any doubt put that into the comment section again i'll try to get back to you and i would encourage you to start exploring the things at your own practice these things put your mind and practice it and then if you are not able to resolve that just put that into the comment section i will definitely get back to you all the best and happy learning